So all of a sudden, yellow was not generic. Yellow was particular. And I've taken that lesson on board with all my work now. Colour. If I want a yellow, what kind of yellow do I want? You know, a cool yellow, a warm yellow, an earth yellow, a dark yellow, a pale yellow. So here's some of my yellows, yellows of common. And down on the floor here is some, some colours I mixed up the other day. This is part of my process. And um, I use these swatches in my painting. What, what I like to do with my own, my own work is to... I work with um, pure colours. Normally in each mix there's just two colours, or two colours and white. So I try to do a shortcut. So, I, so instead of thinking, right, I want a yellow, and then I don't, I don't get all the colours out of the palette and say, well, I'm a bit of that, and a bit of that, and a bit of that, and a bit of that. My method is, is to think ahead and think, well, what kind of yellow do I want? And then try and make that yellow using two colours, or two colours of white. And I've got a database in my head, but I've also got these swatches. Two colours, and on the back there's a little formula. So a lot of my painting courses we make swatches, coloured swatches. And that means that when I'm painting, I can do this. Bring out my swatches and say, shall I try that one? Or that one, or that one. That doesn't work. Maybe that one does. And I can flick it over and I don't remember how it's made. If there's only two colours or two colours and white, you can make it colour again. You can make that again. If there's three colours, you've no chance. So it's a good discipline. So I can, I can remake those colours. 